Yo, what's up guys? Back again with me, Mato. I'm so sorry for not uploading videos for a long time, but today I'm back again and I'm gonna create something cool again for t-shirt design. Now I come with some of these random images which I will later combine and manipulate using Photoshop to become a t-shirt design like this. I really want to deep dive now about this design process, so let's get started. Alright, as you can see, I will cut out some of half part of this woman's face. I just need a part of the nose and the mouth area, and I will combine this with other elements later. By the way, I put this image link in the description below. And for now, I'm starting by cropping this image using a pen tools. So yeah, as you know, that are no specific tool to any cropping process. You're absolutely free to use any kind of cropping tool you like. And so, I'll just speed that part up and talk to you in a bit. Alright, so now I do adjust and assembling with another image and make an initial composition right now. I put a school head and combine it with snail shell. Here I intend to manipulate the back of the school head image with a snail shell. I don't know what exactly it is. I think I came up with a surreal idea to start with this one. Of course, there will be a lot of composition work done later on. So yeah, let's see. I did a bit of balancing and color correction into it, so that each image would look more unified. As you know, I did much treatment over there. Usually, I only use adjustments like hue saturation to adjust saturation, levels to increase contrast, and camera raw filter to balance the colors in all images. I only play in those areas and repeat the process until I find good results. Next up is, I wanna bring all these things more lively by adding a shadows, especially on the part of the image which is cropped separately. As you know, I never skip this process because, I don't know, I really love and obsessed to adding small details like that.
I'm also painting off additional highlights to give me more aesthetic looks. A painting a highlight is pretty basic actually. I just using a brush tool and do the same step as when I made our painting shadows before. Alright, for now, I think it's pretty good actually. Now, I'm gonna adding or playing with some more random stuff. In here, I wanted to play or experiment with kind of my assets such as elements, textures, typography or something like that. And lastly now, I got perfect adjustments to the design and honestly, I'm really really happy with it. Now, I'm adding some of text in it and go to apply the design to a short mockup and show you the final results. Alright guys, so that it's all for today. I hope you learned something new from this video. I'll be uploading another video later this week, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. Follow me on Instagram for more behind the scenes. Thanks for watching my video. See you on the next one. Peace.